Well, I'm not good at cutting PVC blades for windmills. And I've been thinking about making a little whirly gig again or trying another windmill. And uh, I'm going to try something different for blades. Got this four way. And I'm going to drill a hole in the center, about a quarter inch hole in the center. And then I have a, a one foot pipe on each side. These are three quarter PVC. A little big. And uh, I'm going to get some uh, plexiglass, I think, and uh, screw it on to the pipes. I don't have them glued in yet, and I'm not going to glue them in until I get it, uh, try it once before I glue them in to see if I get the pitch right. So I'll get that hole drilled and see about getting some plexiglass on these tubes. Okay. <clears throat> I uh, got my hole drilled and uh, decided to try try to get by cheap if it's going to be a whirly gig. It's not going to be probably a, uh, too big of a wind generator if I make a generator on it. Actually, I'm just trying to play around and see what I can get by with really cheap for some whirly gig uh, yard ornaments or maybe, like I say, someday another windmill. But I took some of this... Uh, plastic corrugation I'm not sure exactly what the technical name for it is and I made some 7 inch by about 4 inch blades and and zip tied them on my pipe and then what I'll do is uh, I'll adjust them for uh, maximum wind catching and then uh, glue them in they, they fit in this T really tight anyway but uh, I may end up gluing them once I get them out into a wind, but I uh, thought I'd show you I got uh, how I did this. Just uh, a couple of zip ties uh, to tie them uh, plastic corrugation onto the pipe. All right. Real simple little project here. I'm not sure how it's going to work. Uh, when I get outside the wind in a couple days, uh, I made. I don't have this glued in yet, so they fit snug for now. They'll probably loosen up, and I'll have to glue them. But I think I got uh, three dollars in a three-quarter inch pipe. Uh, some old scrap plastic uh, corrugation. And this little T was uh, two dollars and seventy-five cents, something like that. So, for a mini wind generator or a uh, whirly gig, I'm thinking that uh, I'll be able to put this on a three-quarter or quarter-inch shaft, and uh, I'll try it out, see what happens. I guess I got the it should spin this way, the way I got my blades. A uh, real cheap way to make a small uh, windmill blade. So I'm going to give that a try. I'll have some videos of that in a couple days, hopefully showing how it works in the wind.